Welcome to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the words and language we use every day. And seeing as today is Valentine's Day, February 14th, I thought it would be fun to do a word associated with that. So let's take a look. Love. A commitment to building trust and belief between you and another person. Also refers to the emotions surrounding infatuation and arousal. History and etymology. Something really surprised me while I was researching the history of the word love. That was that the word is derived from the same Proto-Indo-European root as words like leave, believe, and even liberty or liberal. This word is lobe. And what really surprised me the most was the connection with the word leave. Because when you hear the word leave nowadays, what you imagine is going away or separating. But when you look at the word a little bit more deeper in the sense in which it's used, like in a military context, when you get leave, that means they're giving you permission to leave. They're trusting that you'll come back and remain faithful to your duties. What the original definition of lube meant was to care for or to desire. And that definition stayed largely the same as the word made its way through Germanic all the way into English. It came through the German word like Liebe became the old English word Lufu and became what we now use in modern English love. Prescription and commentary. Now here I'd like to get a little bit mushy about the concept of love, which I think is different than most people, or at least my concept is. When I was younger, I had a metaphor I liked to use to describe what I believe love is. And of course, my imagery is heavily based on the words we use around and to describe the experience of being in love. And after looking into the history of the word love, I think my description still holds, and I think it's a good way to use the word and a good way to uh, run your life around the subject. So here's my metaphor. Love is a hole. You can fall in love like a, like a hole and get stuck and hurt. If you avoid falling into the hole, and take the time to plant something in it, fill it with trust, joy, love, companionship. You can make something beautiful grow. It takes work, it takes toil, it takes pain, and it takes everything you have. But if you tend to this hole and what you've planted in it, it can grow into something beautiful. That was actually in my vows for my first marriage. So, take anything I say about love with a grain of salt. Apparently I'm not very good at it. Of course, this current marriage is going very well. When I found out the word love is related to words like liberty and leave, it really struck a chord with me. I mean, liberty is about freedom and responsibility. And when you look at what the word leave means, it means to get consent or permission to do something. It's, it's about being free. It's about being free with another person. Like, and like with liberty, it's, or leave, it's giving you permission. So, liberty is a mix between freedom and responsibility. You're free to live your life how you choose, but you have to be willing to live with the consequences of your action and leave is the same it's it's you're getting permission to go do something there's still restrictions put on it based on your actions but it's still permission it's it's freedom and so that's what love is is love is someone giving you their consent their it's give, they're giving you part of your their freedom to you. It's sharing. 
now that freedom can be withdrawn. That's part of what it means to love. That's part of what it means to be free or liberated or liberal or have leave. Now, I think I want to talk a little bit more about love, and I'm going to talk about it more on one of my other channels. I kind of have a, a I like to call it a rant channel, where I just kind of think out loud about spiritual things and philosophical topics. Um, that's over on BitChute. I'll put a link down in the d description. I hope to see you over there, where I can discuss this a little bit more. Kind of also discuss it from a religious context. I might go through C.S. Lewis's Four Loves. So, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like and share the video with your friends. If you enjoy learning about history and language, please subscribe to the channel and click the little bell so that you never miss a word. And if you feel like helping out because I would like to move to doing this somewhat more permanently and become less reliant on my day job. Um, there's a link in the, subs in the description to where you can help support the channel. So, thank you, and until next time, keep on learning.